All right, so something told me to pull the plugs out. One plug in the middle here was only half, a quarter of the way in. So I, it was about this far in. So I cleaned the threads and everything, got the plug back clean. I'm gonna have to do like I did with the Blue Dragon, put a tap in the sleeve. So what you do is you run this down there first, makes new threads. These are the original threads, gonna make these threads. Then you put the sleeve in, it's got the teeth on it. See the teeth at the top? You take this tool here with a hammer and you spread the teeth. What I do is I put them in with the JB Weld on the threads and I flare the top before I put it in there. And I put JB Weld all in there. When I put, and then I put this on the spark plug and I tighten it down in there. So I'm going to fill this with grease and get the tapping going. Just use regular grease. Really cover it good with grease so it'll catch all the shavings and they won't go into the cylinder. I mean, you're gonna get some in there, but it should blow out. I wanna get this started in there. It's only one cylinder. So I got lucky. Get that started in there. I got it on the Blue Dragon already, so, and it's been holding. I mean, the first aluminum plug that I put in didn't hold. It lasted maybe one trip to the city to see my mother. And it blew out as soon as I got home. Well, not home. Uh, as soon as I got to the, uh, Exit to get off. I had to get towed from there. You just run this in. I mean, the threads almost feel like I can go get one of those thread cleaners and clean them up, but I don't want to take a chance. Be on the highway and this freaking thing blow out on me. Eh? Now it's hard, so now you gotta run it in with the big ones. <sighs> Let me do that real quick. Gotta run it in. Alright, so I ran it all the way in until it got easy. Now I'm gonna run it out. Alright, it's coming out now. Uh. When it comes out by hand, real easy, it's a good sign. These the threads are nice and fresh. Okay. Here we go. There it is. That's what it should look like. All the shavings there. And right on the grease in the hole. You see the grease? Gotta get all that clean. Look at the nice threads in there now. Okay, gotta clean that up now. Then I I would turn the turn it up. Well, before before you run the tap in, you should make sure the cylinder stick something in there. Make sure the cylinder is down. I use a zip tie, and mine is all the way here, so I know that tap is not going to touch the piston. All right, let me clean that up, and I'll show you the insert. Putting it in. Put this in. See, I blow it out with the air. And then I put this on the spark plug. And I like to run it in there to make sure that the threads are good. See, take your new spark plug threads, put it on there. To run a plug down in there to make sure that the new threads that I just made are good. See, and that's going in like butter. So, 
making this look good. Let me just put the socket on it. And I'll just run it down in there. To make sure it goes all the way in. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, then I'll seat those threads right there. They'll cut into the aluminum. Let's see if it stays in there. I don't want it to stay in there. Yeah, it stayed in there. Shoot. Alright, I gotta get them threads out of there now. See if I get it out of my finger. So I spray brake cleaner on the threads and inside those threads to clean them up. So the JB Weld I'm using is a uh, high heat. I mix them both together, put it all over the threads. I'm gonna take this tool, comes with the kit. I mean, the reason why I flared it after with the other truck was because I couldn't get to it. Maybe I'll do it the right way this time. Flare it after. All right, Let's mix it up. All right, so you put JB Weld on like that. I already flared the, I flared the piece because I'm not gonna be able to get to it. It's too tough. Now I'll put it in with the JV Weld all the way in, tighten it up, done deal. I can subscribe, boys. Should, if you have a good hand to feel, you should be able to feel this plug. The teeth on the top of that thing cutting into the head. Like I said, I did it like this on a blue dragon. And I've been plowing snow with it and everything. We're putting a lot of strain on it. Driving all the shit in the back. Yeah, it's all the way down. That's what it should look like. Yeah. Focus. There you go. See? A little bit of JB Wells showing. Alright. Let's get these manifolds on. Alright, so on the F-150, you want to put Loctite on the plugs. The blue one, the one that stays soft. On the Ranger, or any other car has aluminum heads, you want to put anti-seize. So they don't lock in there and stay in there. When you go to take them out, they come right out. Alright, so let me get these in here. And I'll throw the manifolds on. Clean up the area there. Throw the manifolds on. Got to wire wheel all this. Get all this crud off. So, to get these plugs out, have to use the big Milwaukee but I didn't stand there and go Burr! I just pop 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 until I saw it spin and then I hit it and took it out and don't forget to let the JB well dry overnight 24 hours before you start the car let it get nice and dry Snug the plugs. Don't go crazy with tightening these freaking plugs down. They don't because you can't get them out. And you're gonna change them. I'd rather it come loose and fly out on the highway than have to try to get it out. Just snug it. That's it. So I'm just done. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just put them in. <laughs> 